Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media and I'm going to show you how to use the WooCommerce product table plugin to create a product catalogue. So you might want to use a catalogue for lots of different things. You may want to have an information only catalogue which lists your products in a nice compact format so that people can browse and find exactly what they want and then order from you using some other means. Or you might want to create a table with buy buttons within the table so that people can choose their products and add to the cart all from a single screen. I'm going to show you how to do both of those things. So the first thing you need to do is buy the WooCommerce product table plugin and install this along with WooCommerce. And you also need to create all your products. So on this test website, we've got WooCommerce installed um, and we've got some products. So these are just standard WooCommerce products um, that you can see we, we've actually imported the dummy data from WooCommerce. So it's all standard stuff here with prices and all that kind of thing. And um, we've also installed the WooCommerce product table plugin. So now we've got all that set up, we're ready to get started. So you can add your product catalogue to any page or post in WordPress. And we're going to create a new page, which is pages add new. And I'm going to call it product catalogue. So we're going to do this in three stages. First, I'm going to show you the default usage of the product table plugin, which will let you create a product catalogue in a very, very easy way where you really don't have to do anything. I'm then going to show you two slightly more advanced uses, although they're still pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to create a product catalogue with add to cart buttons and also how to create information only product catalogues that do not let people make a purchase. So first of all, the default usage. So once we've installed WooCommerce and WooCommerce product, WooCommerce product table, we want to add a short code to the page, which is simply product underscore table in square black brackets. And I'm going to publish the page and we'll see what it looks like. So I'm going to view page and here it is. So um, scrolling down a bit, we've got a new page with a product catalog and here is our catalog. So the default information is the product name. The, it's called summary, but it's actually the product short description. Um, so that's right at the bottom of the ad product page in WooCommerce. Often appears on the single product page um, to the top, towards the top above the add to cart button. You've got the price and it knows what currency you're using, which comes from the WooCommerce settings and you've got an add to cart button. And you can sort by the different fields so your customers can interact with the table and use it to find what information they want. So they can sort by price or name or whatever they want. They can choose how many products show per page um, and they can perform a search. So if I wanted to look for CD, see how it's instantly filtered for CDs. So that's the default usage. Now, if this is exactly how you want your product table to look, then brilliant. You can stop watching now and go ahead and set it up. And all you need to do is add product underscore table into the short code and that's it. Or if you want to keep going, then stay with me and I'll show you different ways to configure this short code to create more advanced product catalogues. The next one we're going to do is a slightly more interesting product catalogue with a product image and add to cart buttons and some other useful information. Now I'm going to add some columns to my shortcode which tells the product catalogue which columns to display in the table. So I'm going to write columns equals and then I'm going to open some quotation marks and I'm going to tell it which columns to display by writing um, got some, sorry, S on the end of columns. So columns equals, and I'm going to do image to show the product featured image. I'm going to ask for SKU, which is the unique identifier that WooCommerce lets you add for any product. And not everybody uses SKUs in their WooCommerce store, but it's um, quite common in product catalogs. So I'm going to include it here. 
you want your product name. I'm sure all of you want the name of the product to be displayed. Categories you may or may not want. Um, depends on your overall structure. Um, if you add categories as a column here, then it will display all the category, a column listing the categories that each product are in. And then your users can click on a category if they want, if you want them to, to sort by that category. Or alternatively, you may want to have a divide your product catalog into sections with a different table for each category. So if you look at the documentation for WooCommerce product table, you'll be able to see how to do that. But for this example, I'm displaying the categories of all my products within a single table, and then they can click on one to source it. But there are other ways you can structure it, depending on the nature of your store. We're also going to display tags. These are the product tags that you might use to tag your products with different information. And um, I'm going to display the price. And finally, add to cart. That is add hyphen to hyphen cart. And those are our columns. So we close that off with quotation marks. And let's have a look at how it looks now. So I'm going to click update. And then I'm going to refresh my um, product catalogue page. And you can see it's looking a lot prettier already. So we've got the image, the SKU, the name, and all the other fields I selected. So it's already looking a lot more customised to what I wanted. And um, you don't have to have these columns. Um, you can use the documentation to display um, lots and lots of different uh, types of data about your products. So, but I'm going to carry on with this. I'm going to tell it to how many dis rows to display per page. So you could have like lots of rows or just a few or whatever you want. So this is by default set to show 20. So 1 to 20 of 23 products. So by default, your uh, catalog will show 20 products per page. You may want to show more or less. So what you do is rows underscore per page underscore page equals and then you open the quotation marks again and just type whatever you want so I'm going to type 10 and I'm going to carry on I'm also going to add a quantity selector to my add to cart so just go back to the table you see we've got add to cart buttons but what if I want to order two of an item well to do that you can add a select quantity um, just to the left of add to cart so to do that we want to add show underscore quantity equals, and then within quotation marks again, equals true. And I'm also going to do one final thing. I want to sort it by price. So by default, um, the products are ordered by publication date. So the most recent product you added to the store will be the top of your product catalog but you can sort it by any column. So um, you might want to type in sort underscore by equals, quotation marks again, and I'm gonna type price. Now by default, um, it's coded to display in descending order because that's what you would typically do with price. So, uh, but, if you, but if you look at the documentation, it will tell you how to display in other ways as well, like ascending order or whatever. So let's save it and have a look at these three new things that we've added to the table. So I'll refresh the page again. And so here it's looking a bit different again. So we've got, it says show 10 products. That's because we defaulted it to show 10 per page, but your users can still choose to show different numbers per page. So all we've affected is how many are there by default. And we're sorting by price now, so the cheaper items, um, which is quite likely to be sale items, come first. Again, your users can sort by different columns um, still, but the default sort order is price in ascending order. So then finally, we have a quantity selector, so I can order as many as I want and add to the cart. And then once your customers have added to the cart, they can view the cart and check out in the usual way for your WooCommerce store. Um, so that's how you create a product catalog with add to cart buttons. Uh, but a lot of product catalogs do not have add to cart buttons. It might be a catalog for people to order manually or something like that. So we're going to modify the table now to remove the add to cart buttons.
we're going to also make some other changes just so you can see some of the different options with the products and um, with the plugin. So column um, in the column section we're going to get rid of the image because a lot of product catalogues don't have images they're quite information based and factual so you may not want images so I'll show you what it looks like without that so we're going to keep SKU name I'm going to add a short description category um, short dash description um, which will give a useful excerpt about the product to encourage people to find out more and um, give them information about it We'll keep categories for now, but instead of tags, let's just change it to reviews. That will show the ratings of the product if people have left reviews on your website. And we'll keep price and we're going to get rid of add to cart. Um, because we've got rid of add to cart, we don't need show quantity because there's nothing to select the quantity for. You're not adding to the cart. If you leave that in by mistake, it won't break anything, but you know, may as well keep your table nice and neat. So um, your short code behind the scenes. And I'm going to change the rows per page again, just because I can. So let's have 30 this time. So it's a nice, long, information-based product catalogue. And we'll get rid of sort by price as well. So let's update that and see what it looks like. So we'll refresh the page. So we've got these changes. We've now lost the featured image. We've added the short description. We've um, added a reviews column and we've lost the add to cart. And um, you can see there's lots displaying per page. I set it to 30, but I actually only have 23 products. So that's why 23 are showing. Setting it to more than you actually have is a nice way of getting rid of the pagination buttons that we had at the bottom before. So if you want every product to display on a single page, then just set the rows per page to a higher number than the products you have. And that's what it will look like. And so that's it. We've created three product tables, a default one, a one with add to cart and an information only one. Um, but I think I'll show you one more thing before we finish because some product catalogues may not want you to be able to click through. So you can see that by default um, you can click on things like um, the product title and that will take you to the single product page where you can buy and so on. You may not want to do that so um, what you can do is type links equal and then in quotation marks none and what that's going to do is disable all the links within the table so that it really is a read-only product table. So now, see, we've lost the link. We cannot click through. There's no Add to Cart button. Your user can interact with their uh, product catalogue by clicking on the sorting and performing a search and all that. Um, but it's much more of a pro traditional product catalogue. They can browse, but they can't buy. They can't click through to read more. Um, and so that might be how you use it. So the documentation for WooCommerce product table has lots more options as to how you can configure your product catalogue. And I hope this video has given you some ideas and um, helped you to see what is possible.